Hello everyone, my name is Utkarsh Mittal and I'm a Senior Product Manager at AWS. In this demo, I will walk you through how you can use row and column filters in Amazon Data Zone to manage fine-grained access to your data at row and column level. Amazon Data Zone provides a subscription workflow that allows data consumers such as analysts to request access to data in the business data catalog. Data owners can review these requests and approve these subscriptions from within the Amazon Data Zone portal. And Amazon Data Zone takes care of managing permissions in the underlying systems, such as AWS Lake Formation or Amazon Redshift, making sure that the data consumer has access to the data. Now, without finding access control, data owners could give access to the entire data set, which means the data consumer would get access to all the rows and columns in the data set. But what if you have some sensitive columns in your data asset, such as email, phone number, or social security numbers of customers? All of this is sensitive information that you may not want to share with the data consumer. Similarly, you may have data from different regions like Europe and America, and you only want the data consumer to be able to access the data for America. So you can achieve this with row and column asset filters in Amazon Data Zone. To hide sensitive columns, you can create a column filter where you can exclude sensitive columns like email, phone numbers, and social security numbers. And to make sure that an analyst has access to only the data from America region, you can create a row filter that only includes data for America. So now let's go through a quick demo to see how you can achieve this. Here, I'm logged into Amazon Data Zone portal where I have an AWS Glue table. I'm currently acting as an analyst using the project Sales Analysis. I find a table called Catalog Sales that looks like what I need for my analysis. So I will request access to this table by hitting the subscribe button. Provide a reason for my request and then submit it. Now let's switch into the shoes of the data owner. I'm using project sales producer and I can see that there is a pending subscription request in my notifications. I will click on this request and I can see the details like who requested the access, to what table and why. Before I approve this request, let me take a look at what all data exists in this table. For this, I will use the link to Amazon Athena in my project. In Amazon Athena, I can query this table and can see that this table has a few columns, including some sensitive data like email, phone numbers, and social security numbers. And I don't want to give access to these sensitive columns to the data consumer. Also, I can see that there are rows with different regions like America, Europe, Asia Pacific, and I only want to give access to the America region. Great, now that we understand how our data looks like, let's go back to the data portal and continue with the subscription approval. For the approval, I can see that there are two options. The first option is full access option, which I can choose if I want to give access to the entire table. But in this case, I want to limit access to certain rows and columns of data, so I will select approve with row and column filters. Next, I can choose the filters I want to apply but in the dropdown, I don't see any filters. So let's create a couple of filters. First, let's create a column filters that excludes the sensitive columns that we saw in the data. I'll click on create new filter. Then I'll provide a name. Let's call it exclude sensitive columns. I'll provide a description. I'll select the column as the filter type. And then I'll select all columns first. And then I'll exclude the three columns that are sensitive. And finally, I'll hit the Create Asset Filter button. So this is how you create a column filter. Now let's create a row filter that only includes data for America region. Again, we will provide a name and description. This time we will select row as the filter type and then provide a row filter expression. For this, I will select the region column, select the equals operator, and then provide the value as America. Here you need to make sure that the value America matches the actual value in your data. And that's it. Let's hit the Create Asset Filter button. Now that we have created required filters, let's go back to the previous window and then click on the Refresh button. We can see that both the filters that we created are showing up in the dropdown now. We'll select both of them and hit the Approve button. So that's it. The subscription has been approved. Now let's switch back into the shoes of the data consumer again and see what access the data consumer has received. I can see that there's a notification that tells me that my subscription was approved. Let's click on it. 
I can see that the subscription was approved with filters and I can see the details as well. It shows me what rows of data I can access. And it also shows me that I can access only a subset of columns. To see the details, let's go and see the schema. You can see that there are certain columns that I won't have access to. Now let's confirm this by querying the table in Amazon Athena. For this, I will click on the Amazon Athena link in my project where I can query the data. I can see that I have access to the catalog sales table. When I query it, you can see that I can only access the rows where region is America, and I cannot see the email, phone number, and social security number columns. This concludes the demo. Thank you for watching.